Hello and welcome everyone to a tutorial for uh, City Skylines. Uh, this time I would like to talk about the electricity and the water supplies. Now, let's begin with the electricity. But before that, you should know that the electricity and the water are the very pillars of City Skylines. If you don't supply your cities with uh, water and electricity, imagine that you won't be able to even build the city <clears throat> okay let's begin with the electricity so as you can see you have seven options when you want to produce electricity of course there is a downside and a upside for each choice you can make for example the wind turbine does make a lot of noise pollution does um, cost six thousand money the upkeep is low the upkeep is low but <clears throat> it does produce um, depending on the location on the map it does produce between 8 and 0 megawatts for example in this area I can get 7 megawatts and in this area I can get 4 megawatts now for the long run the wind turbines are not an option because um, it will occupy a lot of space because you will have to spam a lot of this in order to fulfill the energy need of your citizens. Now, uh, we have the advanced wind turbine, which is, let's say, good for uh, mid game. You produce uh, 20 megawatt stops depending where you place it. For example, here I get 20 megawatts, here I get only 10. So, yeah. But this one is pretty good because. Uh, with a double price, you get um, almost three times more energy than from the wind turbine. Now, uh, the third option is the coal power plant. The coal power plant, let's say in the early game, it's uh, the best option between uh, the cost and the energy you produce. Because you pay 20 money and... 20,000 money and you get uh, 40 megawatts, which is extremely good. But for the long run, again, it's not good. Another downside of this is the pollution, uh, which you don't want that. You don't want pollution, trust me. Now, on the, on the, um, on the other hand, we also have this uh, oil power plant. Again, it does pollute. It produces 120 megawatts, but... Trust me, you don't want pollution. So the best thing for you is to avoid this. On the last places we have the hydropower plant, the solar power plant and the nuclear power plant. These are the best options for you. Why? Because they produce a lot of energy and there is no pollution. There is only little noise pollution. But you can deal with that because if you place the building far from the city, the, pollu the noise pollution won't be a problem. Okay, it's just noise pollution. Um, the solar power plant produces 160 megawatts. The nuclear power plant produces 640 megawatts. Now, uh, the building that can produce the most energy is the hydropower plant. It can produce from 0 to 1600 megawatts, okay? But of course, it's dependent on the on a river. If you want to use this, you will need to place it like this. And as you can see, I don't produce I don't produce uh, 1000 Wait, let me delete it. I don't produce uh, 100 uh, 1600 megawatts i produce 96 megawatts okay it's really dependent on the river the bigger the river the better i, I think and um, another problem with this is that after some time after some time look the river <coughs> behind it is going to grow and it's going to cause floodings okay you don't want that guys you don't want that so you must be really careful with this <clears throat> okay let's get back here let's say we start producing energy with a wind turbine okay i will have to place the wind turbine here because i get the most energy 
In the beginning, you don't, you don't need more than two wind turbines. There, there I have it. And now I need, <coughs> here I will place my, um, my habitable buildings. Okay, I'll place the houses so people will be able to come. But before that, guys, let's see. We supply the city with energy by using the power line. Okay, there you go. Now the city is supplied with energy. Of course, you will need buildings. But they have energy, but they don't have something very important. They don't have water. Okay, so let's talk, let's talk about water this time. As you can see, you don't have much buildings this time. But <clears throat> what's really interesting is that you have two options when you start. You can produce water by using a water tower, okay? You simply place this on the ground and that's it. You produce water. You just supply the energy and you produce water. Now, another option for you. Another option for you. Okay, I'll leave that there. Another option for you is uh, the water pumping station. Of course, guys, you will produce water, but after your citizens use it, you will have to get rid of it. So you do that by using a water drain pipe. But hey, this is a river. We have to get rid of the waste in the river. If we place, uh, if we place the water drain pipe here at the top of the river, and we will place the water pumping station here at the bottom, Basically, the water pumping station will get water from the river, will give it to the citizens, and, get, and then it will get rid of it here at the top of the river. And then, dirty water will come down, and the water pumping station will give us, will give our citizens dirty water. We don't want that. We want to place the water pumping station here at the top, and the water drain pipe at the bottom. Now, guys. The difference between the water tower and the pumping station is that the water pumping station produces uh, two times more water than the water tower. But if you don't have a river that flows down, don't use the water pumping station because you will simply pollute the same water you are going to use. Okay? But if you are in my situation right now, uh, it's best to use the water pumping station. If you don't have access to water at all, use the water tower, okay? It costs a bit more, but it will help you get over the critical situations. Okay, now I need to supply both this, uh, I mean, all these three buildings with energy. Okay, so let's get the line. Let's place the, the line there. And now let's go down. There you go. And now, guys, we need to go even further. Okay, let's supply this, the drain pipe. We've done that. Now, let's use the water. Uh, I mean, let's start from here. Um, I will link this with uh, the water tower. And voila. There is a distribution between these two. Now, let's supply the city. Bam. 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 There I go. The city is supplied with water. But still, I don't get rid of the wasted water. Now, I have to connect this pipe, the main pipe, to this. And there you go, guys. Now I get rid of the dirty water. I have a little region here that I want to give water to as well. All right. <clears throat> now we have everything we need to start getting people okay so let's make houses as you can see guys I started from here why if I would have started here I'll show you in a second what's up um, let's make this houses here for example you will notice that they won't have electricity why because there's the area that the electricity city runs okay in this area there is electricity and if this area is going to be linked with this one look this area needs to be linked with this one otherwise they won't have electricity or if there is a gap if there is going to be a gap i can simply take the power line here 
and as you can see it has energy now yep but they also need this uh, this region is not supplied with energy okay they do have water they do have water but they don't have energy so i need to do something about it as you can see okay we simply take the power line get it here and there is go there is that they have energy now you can check the status of your electricity and water here you can see how much electricity you consume here for megawatts and how much how much electricity you produce 30 megawatts and here you see the water you produce a lot you consume way much less okay so there you go guys this is pretty much everything you need to know about the water and electricity i hope it was helpful so thank you a lot for watching and make sure to subscribe take care bye bye